Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome. Today's topic is the 2015 Cleveland Indians MLB season. Again, the tribe was playing home games at Progressive Field, formerly known as Jacobs Field. Their record in 2015 was 81 and 80, one game over 500. They finished in third place, 13 and a half games behind the first place Royals, and four and a half games out of the wild card. So winning percentage of 503. So that was that was good, you know. Um, they were a team with a future. Now the attendance was uh, down slightly from the year before. Uh, 385 fans fewer per game. There were an average of 17,361 fans per game. And uh, the try was in the wild card, wild card race until the final week of the season. Okay. So the uh, coaching staff was, uh, everybody was uh, returning. Sandy Alomar Jr. was back as a first base coach. Tim, Tim Belcher was a special assistant coach. Jason Beer was the bullpen coach. Mickey Calloway was the pitching coach. Armando Camacero was, the, was a bullpen catcher. Uh, Brad Mills was the bench coach, close friend of uh, Terry Francona. Ricky Passione was another bullpen catcher. Matt Quattraro was an assistant hitting coach. Edwin Rodriguez was a special assistant coach. You can see the uh, coaching staffs had, were expanding. Mike Sarabao was the third base coach. And Ty Van Berkleyo was the hitting coach. And our fearless leader again was Terry Francona. Who was, this was now his third year, and up till now he's still our, our manager. Wonderful, wonderful guy. Now the lineup... Uh, the everyday lineup, Jan Gomes was the catcher. Gomes hit 231, 12 home runs, 45 RBIs in 95 games. Carlos Santana was at first base, hit 231, 19 home runs, 85 RBIs, and 11 stolen bases. So Santana had uh, power and some speed. Jason Kipnis was at second base, had a tremendous year. He hit 303. Nine home runs, 52 RBIs, 12 stolen bases, and he made the all-star team. Francisco Lindor was our new shortstop. Uh, Lindor hit 313, 12 home runs, 51 RBIs, 12 stolen bases in 99 games. Lindor is from Caguas, Puerto Rico, shortstop for the Tribe from 2015 to the present. His career average is 295, really good. 74 home runs, 252 RBIs, 52 stolen bases. He's made the All Star team twice already, and he won a Gold Glove in 2016 and a Silver Slugger in 2017. At the World Baseball Classic in 2017, he played for Team Puerto Rico that won the Silver Medal. They call him Paquito and also Mr. Smile. At age 12, his family moved to Central Florida. And in the 2016 postseason, Lindor had 16 hits. Wonderful guy, tremendous player, hitter, power, speed, and a really uh, positive uh, demeanor. Always smiling, good guy. Um, Gio Urshela was at third base at 225, six home runs, 21 RBIs in 81 games. Urshela is from... Boca Grande, Cartagena, Colombia, South America. And he's played for the Tribe and Blue Jays from 2015 to the present. His career average is 225, 8 home runs, 39 RBIs. And in the 2017 World Baseball Classic, he played for Team Colombia. On May 4th of this year, the Tribe designated him for assignment, and uh, we ended up and we traded him to the Blue Jays. So... Good luck to Gio Urshela. He is a very fine defensive third baseman. Michael Brantley was in left field, had a tremendous year, hit 310. Wow, 15 home runs, 84 RBIs, 15 stolen bases. And he won the Bob Feller 
Man of the Year Award as a top player for the tribe, Michael Brantley. I call him Dr. Smooth. Tremendous player, a fielder, good guy, real peaceful, peaceful guy, good guy. Michael Bourne was in center field, hit 246, zero home runs, 19 RBIs, 13 stolen bases in 95 games, and on August 7th, the tribe traded him to the Braves. Brandon Moss was in right field. Moss hit 217, 15 home runs, 50 RBIs, 94 games, and during the season, we traded him to the Cardinals. Uh, Moss was from Loganville, Georgia, first baseman outfielder for the Red Sox, Pirates, Phillies, A's, Tribe, Cardinals, and Royals between 2007 and 2017. His career average is 237, 160 home runs, 473 RBIs. He made the All-Star team in 2014. And in 2016, he hit the longest home run in Bush Stadium history. The St. Louis Cardinals, 477 feet. So that guy can hit. Ryan Rayburn was the DH. He hit 301, 8 home runs, 29 RBIs in 82 games. Lonnie Chisenhall uh, hit 246, 7 home runs, 44 RBIs in 106 games. Now the other bench players included Jose Ramirez, who had a tough year, hit 219, 6 home runs, 27 RBIs, 10 stolen bases in 97 games. Mike Aviles hit 231, 5 home runs, 17 RBIs, in 98 games, and he won the Frank Gibbons Steve Olin Good Guy Award. David Murphy hit 296, really good, five home runs, 27 RBIs in 84 games, and during the season we traded him to the Angels. Roberto Perez was the other catcher. He hit 228, seven home runs, 21 RBIs in 70 games. Abraham Almonte. Was a new guy, hit 264, five home runs, 20 RBIs, six stolen bases in 51 games. Almonte is from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, a center fielder for the Mariners, Padres, Tribe, and Royals from 2013 to the present. So he's playing for the Royals right now. His career average is 242, 17 home runs, 92 RBIs. Almonte developed alcoholism and he got sober in 2011 through. Through church, they're going to church and prayer, and he gave credit to the power of God. He said this quote God has something bigger. He is going to keep using me up here in the big leagues. No matter where they send me, big leagues, minor leagues, home, wherever they send me, I know I'm going to do whatever God wants me to do, baseball or no baseball. If I do it to glorify God's name, I think I'll be okay. Good guy, Abraham Almonte. Jerry Sands was a new player, hit 236, four home runs, 19 RBIs in 50 games. Sands is from Middletown, New York, outfielder first baseman for the Dodgers, Rays, Tribe, and White Sox between 2011 and 2016. For his career, he hit 238, 10 home runs, 57 RBIs. And uh, in 2010, he was the Dodgers Minor League Player of the Year. And uh, he's been playing in the minor leagues for the Giants. Uh, well, in 2017, up to the present. So he's hoping to make it back to the show. Uh, Jerry Sands. Nick Swisher hit 198, two home runs, eight RBIs in 30 games. And uh, the Tribe traded him, along with uh, Michael Bourne, to the Braves on August 7th for Chris Johnson. So that was the end of the Nick Swisher Swisher era in Cleveland. He had... Good guy. He just had. Uh, he was having physical problems, problems with his knees. You know, these these athletes. They have. Uh, this is what happens when they get older. Chris Johnson hit 289, one home run, seven RBIs in 27 games. We picked him up in that trade from the Braves. Johnson is from Naples, Florida. First baseman, third baseman for the Astros, Diamondbacks, Brave Tribe, and Marlins between 2009 and 2016. His career average is 275, 63 home runs, 339 RBIs. 
And he played in the minors for the Marlins and Orioles up until 2017. He's currently a free agent, so I think he's still hoping to, to play, to continue his, his, his baseball career. Brett Hayes hit 156, three home runs, six RBIs in 14 games. Hayes is from Pasadena, California, a catcher for the Marlins, Royals, and Tribe from 2009 to 2015. His career average is 205, 13 RBI, 13 home runs, 37 RBIs, and he's currently a scout for the Rangers. He played, uh, he played for the Diamondbacks and White Sox and Rangers after uh, up until 2017 in the minor leagues. And on February 7th of this year, he announced his retirement as a player, Brett Hayes. Michael Martinez hit 267, zero home runs, two RBIs in 16 games. Martinez is from Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, a utility player for the Phillies, Pirates, Tribe, Red Sox, and Rays between 2011 to 2017. His career average is 194, six home runs, 42 RBIs. He was the final out. He was the batter who made the final out uh, for the Tribe in the 2016 World Series against the Cubs at Progressive Field. So that was kind of tough. Uh, Zach Walters hit 133, zero home runs, zero RBIs in 12 games. Tyler Holt hit 100, zero home runs, zero RBIs in nine games. Jesus Aguilar hit 316, zero home runs, two RBIs in seven games. Adam Moore hit 250, zero home runs, one RBI in one game. Moore is from Mineola, Texas a catcher for the Mariners, Royals, Padres, and Tribe between 2009 and 2016. His career average is 197, six home runs, 21 RBIs. He made his MLB debut on September 13, 2009, and he said this, quote, This is so exciting. It's a dream come true. I got a little sleep on the flight, but I kept waking up with butterflies, knowing that I was coming back to Arlington, where I grew up watching games. Walking into this clubhouse, knowing that I am wearing a big league uniform is really something. Oh yeah, I'm ready to play. I'm ready for the opportunity to get out there. Show them. Show them I believe in their stuff. Get that good relationship with the pitching staff and just take them to victory. So Moore is currently playing in the minors for the Tampa Tampa Bay Devil Rays. Adam Moore. Now the pitching staff, Corey Kluber... Uh, was a hard luck pitcher, was 9-16 and 16 with a 3.49 ERA, 32 starts, 4 complete games. He wasn't getting much support when he pitched, losing low-scoring games. Danny Salazar was 14-10 and 10 with a 3.45 ERA and 30 starts. Carlos Carrasco had a, had a good year, 14-12, and 12, 3.63 ERA, 30 starts, 3 complete games, and a shutout. Trevor Bauer went 11-12 with a 4.55 ERA, 30 starts, and one complete game. Cody Anderson was a new pitcher, went 7-3 with a 3.05 ERA, 15 starts, and one complete game. Anderson's from Quincy, California, pitched for the Tribe from 2015 to 2016. His career record is 9-8 with a 4.50 ERA, 98 strikeouts. And in 2013, he won the Bob Feller Award as the best tribe pitcher in the minors. Now, the, the bullpen, Cody Allen, was 2-5 uh, and five with a 2.99 ERA, 70 games, and 34 saves. Fine year for Cody Allen. Zach McAllister was 4-4 four and four with a 3.00 ERA, 61 games, and one save. Brian Shaw was 3-3. Three and three with an ERA of 2.95, very good. 74 games and two saves. Tremendous year for Brian Shaw. Ryan Webb was 1-0 with a 3.20 ERA in 40 games. Webb is from Clearwater, Florida. Pitched for the Padres, Marlins, Orioles, Tribe, and Rays between 2009 and 2016. His career record is 17-18 with a 3.43 ERA, 271 strikeouts, and he's pitched for the White Sox, Brewers, Giants, and Cubs in the minors uh, up to the present. So he's currently a minor league pitcher for the Cubs, Ryan Webb. Mark Arzepsinski 
was 2-3 and three with a 4.43 ERA, 45 games, and during the season we traded him to the Padres. Josh Tomlin had a fine record of 7-2 and two with a 3.02 ERA, 10 starts, and 2 complete games. Jeff Manship was 1-0 and oh with an ERA of 0.92. Wow, really good. 32 games. Manship's from San Antonio, Texas. Pitched for the Twins, Rockies, Phillies, Tribe, NC Dinos in South Korea from 2009 to 2017. Um, his career record is 7-10 and 10 with a 4.82 ERA, 159 strikeouts, and he's currently a free agent, hoping to continue his career. Jeff Manship. Sean Markham was 3-2 with a 5.40 ERA, 6 starts. Markham's from Kansas City, Missouri, pitched for the Blue Jays, Brewers, Mets, and Tribe between 2005 and 2015. His career record is 61-48 and 48 with a 3.93 ERA, 836 strikeouts. In 2010, he gave up Alex Rodriguez, A-Rod's 600th career home run. After his playing career, he coached at Northwestern Oklahoma State uh, Rangers and also Missouri Southern State University. Very good, Sean Markham. Austin Adams was 2-0 with a 3.78 ERA, 28 games, and one save. Nick Hagedone was 0-1 with a 4.28 ERA, 36 games. Scott Atchison was 1-1 with a 6.86 ERA in 23 games. Kyle Crockett had no decisions, 4.08 ERA in 31 games. Gavin Floyd had no decisions in an ERA of 2.70 in seven games. Floyd's from Annapolis, Maryland, pitched for the Phillies, White Sox, Braves, Tribe, and Blue Jays between 2004 and 2016. His career record is 74 and 76 with a 4.37 ERA, 985 strikeouts. Really good, Gavin Floyd. Anthony Swarzak had no decisions in an ERA of 3.38 in 10 games. Suarez X from Fort Lauderdale, Florida, pitched for the Twins, Tribe, and Doosan Bears in South, South Korea, as well as the Yankees, White Sox, Brewers, and Mets between 2009 to the present. So he's pitching for the Mets right now. His career record is 23-30 and 30 with a 4.21 ERA, 403 strikeouts. T.J. House was 0-4 with a 13.15 ERA and f- four starts. Sean Armstrong had no decisions, an ERA of 2.25 in eight games. Armstrong is from New Bern, North Carolina, pitched for the Tribe in 2015, from 2015 to 2017. His career record is 1-0 with a 3.53 ERA, 38 strikeouts, and he's currently pitching in the minor leagues in the Mariners' system. Bruce Chen was 0-1 with a 12.79 ERA, in two games. Chen is from Panama City, Panama, Central America. Pitched for the Braves, Phillies, Mets, Expos, Reds, Astros. Back with the Red Sox again. Orioles, Rangers, Royals, and Tribe between 1998 to 2015. So this was the end of his MLB career. His record is 82-81 and 81 with a 4.62 ERA, 1,140 strikeouts. He's Chinese descent. His paternal grandfather left China during the Chinese Civil War. So he's a a Chinese guy who grew up or was from Central America, from Panama. He worked after his playing career as a tribe cultural development advisor, and he's currently the Dodgers Latin American field coordinator, Bruce Chen. Toru Murata was 0-1 with an 8.10 ERA in one game. Murata's from Osaka, Japan, pitched for the Tribe and Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters from 2015 to the present. His, uh, so he pitched in Japan, his, and he also pitched in Panama and Venezuela. In Japan, his career record is 1-2 and two with a 2.77 ERA and 39 strikeouts. Giovanni Soto had no decisions and an ERA of 0.00 in six games. Soto is from... Carolina, Puerto Rico, pitched for the Tribe in 2015. So this was this was basically his career. He also pitched at the World Baseball Classic in 2017 for Team Puerto Rico that won the silver medal. He pitched 
in the minors for the Cubs, A's, and White Sox up until 2017. He's currently pitching for the Road Warriors in the Atlantic League of Professional Baseball. Still hoping to make it back to the show. C.C. Lee was had no decisions in an ERA of 5.40 in two games. Ryan Rayburn uh, pitched in a, in a game, had no decisions, one game in an ERA of 0.00. David Murphy also pitched in, in one game, had no decisions in an ERA of 0.00. So the 2015 Tribe, yeah, we were had these these young fellows developing. They had a they had a future. God bless all those fellows. Who, pitched, who played for the Tribe in 2015. And God bless everyone else associated with that team, including the fans. The 2015 Tribe are forever champions of our hearts. Captains of the Cuyahoga, lovers of Lake Erie, Terminal Tower Power, Euclid Avenue Electricity, fans of the Free Stamp Statue, Tribe Browns and Cav Rule, Cleveland City of Champions. Cleveland is the best location in the nation on the north coast of America. New York is the Big Apple, but Cleveland is a plum. Good luck to the Cavs in Game 4 tomorrow night of the NBA Finals. To quote Yogi Berra, it ain't over till it's over. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.